Hi. Now in this video, we are going to talk about mining in much more detail. So in our previous videos, we have talked about mining, right? We have seen a very quick overview of mining. Let me give you a, a summary of that. So people who haven't watched that, so they can get a overview of that. So in mining, when we do a simple transaction, that transaction go to these pool of miners and these miners start solving a mathematical problem. The miner who solved this mathematical problem first gets the ability to create a block. Okay. And after this block is created, this block goes to the these, these set of miners once again so that they can verify and validate this block, whether this block is a malicious block or not. And once they find that, okay, this block is not a malicious block, they add, their, add this block to their blockchain and this miner who has solved this mathematical problem first get rewarded and the block is added to the blockchain. So this is, was this was just a quick overview of blockchain mining. I hope you have watched the previous video of blockchain mining where I have discussed about this in much more detail. Now let us understand this mathematical problem. What is this mathematical problem? What miners are actually solving for? Like whether this mathematical problem is a algebraic mathematical problem, calculus mathematical problem or integration mathematical problem. Just joking. All these things are not there. But yes, let us understand what uh, type of mathematical problem are these miners are actually solving for. Now to understand this, we have to understand a new field that is called nonce. So till now we have talked about block number, data, previous hash and hash, right? But there is also a new field that is called nonce. Now, if you will see these different fields, right? This block number, uh, we will talk about this hidden field, this data, previous hash. So these were the fields that we give to our SHA-256 algorithm. And this SHA-256 algorithm then produces a hash. Now, if you will look at these fields, block number, data and previous hash, all these fields are actually fixed fields. What do I mean by fixed? Means the miner, if you are a miner, you cannot change anything inside this block number, right? Because block number is something uh, which is given by the algorithm, right? So if block number five is created after that block number six will be created. So you cannot say that, okay, after block number five, I want to create a block number seven. So this cannot be possible. You cannot change the data, right? You cannot change the transaction. If A is doing some transaction to B, you cannot say that no, C is doing some transaction to B. So you cannot change the data of a block. You cannot change the previous hash as well because previous hash actually depends upon the previous block, right? So because previous hash contains the hash of the previous block. So this cannot, this can also not be changed, right? So all these fields are fixed. We cannot change them, but miners require a field which they can change so that they can solve this mathematical problem, which we will discuss in our upcoming video. But to solve this mathematical problem, they need a field and that field is nonce. Now nonce is something which gives power to the miners so that they can solve that mathematical problem, which we are going to talk about. Okay. Now, as I said, block number data cannot be changed. Previous hash cannot be changed, but nonce is a number which we can change. And if we can change the nonce, we can also change the output of our SHA-256 algorithm, right? Because as we, ha as we have discussed about SHA-256 algorithm, as we change the input, the output of SHA-256 algorithm also gets changed, right? So let's say this is, this is, these are some uh, fields that are given in our block, some fixed field given in our block, block number six, some data, some transaction, some previous hash, okay? Now, if I have to generate this hash, if I have to generate this hash, definitely I have to give all these fields to the SHA-256 algorithm, right? So let's say if the nonce is 23 and then we have a hash of this 00001BA1. Now, since these fields are fixed and let's say if I want to change the hash, what I will do? I will change the nonce. So as soon as I will change the nonce, you can see that we have a different hash. If I will change the nonce to three, so I have a different hash. I cannot change the remaining fields, but I can change the nonce. So I'm changing it so that I can have a different hash. And why do I are doing this? You will understand. Let us do it practically also. So this is a website, demoblockchain.org slash block. If you will come to this website and let's say uh, I have some data. Let's say A is sending five Bitcoin to B. Definitely, this is how this is not how transaction actually are there in the block, uh, blockchain, but just for simplicity, I'm doing this. Okay. So now, as you can see that as soon as I have changed the data, we have a different type of hash, right? If I will remove this, let me remove this. So you will see that this is a different kind of hash. If I'm having some data, we have a different kind of hash. And as soon as I'm changing the data, 
we have uh, this color of the block gets pink right now why it is pink because this is not the correct nonce for this block okay so the miner what miner will do he will solve a nonce which is going to be perfect which is going to be correct so that this block gets green again so let me click on this mine so that you can see that i am clicking on mine and you will see that our nonce will get changed and as soon as our nonce will get changed you can see that our block got green and hash also got changed right so as i said nonce is a number which is in under the control of miner nonce can be changed by the miners whenever they want so that they can change the hash if i will let's say again change some data so you can again see that this got pink in color now i have to solve this mathematical problem and to solve this mathematical problem i have to generate a nonce so i will click on this mine button and this will help me in generating a nonce which will be correct in order to get this block color again green means this block then will become a valid block so if it if it, if it was a pink block it was not a valid block it was a malicious block because there was some change in the data but now it is a again a uh, a correct block right not a malicious block if i will change the block number for now so you can see again it's, it's pink right if i have to again click on mine again nonce will get changed nothing will else will get changed and now we have a green block so this is what nonce is but definitely we are going to talk about much more in our upcoming videos but i hope you have understood how nonce actually works so i hope you have liked this video if you have any doubts please comment below those doubts i will definitely solve those doubts if you are new to this channel and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel so i'm going to regularly upload new blockchain courses on this channel this is my instagram id here you can directly contact me if you have any doubts or queries or you can also join our discord community of blockchain developers where 2000 plus members are there as of now at the time of recording this video you can also ask your doubts there also so meet you soon in the next video take care bye bye